Excellent, welcome back. Yeah, so we've done video one. This is now the second example question. And we are talking about the circumference of a circle and the length of the outside, if you like. And by now you know that the circumference C equals two pi r. Yeah? We don't have to think about that um, formula anymore. Yeah? Two times pi times the radius. Now what is the radius? And now you gotta be careful because quite a few of you, unfortunately, are gonna write down two times pi times 12 and then they continue. And all of those students are absolutely wrong, unfortunately, because you realize that the circumference is two times pi times the radius, and the radius is that line from the center of the circle to the circumference, yeah? So is that radius 12? No, that's the diameter. The radius is six half the diameter. The radius is six meters, yeah? Again, half the diameter. So be careful there. Don't get over excited that you know exactly what to do, two pi r, two times pi, and then you just plug in 12. Now you gotta think about that. What is that? What is r? It's the radius. So it's not the diameter, yeah? Careful there. I'm sure you're not gonna make that mistake, okay? Um, two times pi, times six, and now I grab my calculator, I've written it all down, equals, and that equals to 37.699111184. We got to round to three significant figures. So one, two, three, now the six stays a six or goes to a seven. That always depends on the first number, or the first significant figure you don't write, as the one next to it, it's higher than a five. So 37.7 indeed. What is the unit? Cows, M&Ms, meters. Absolutely, 37.7 meters. So if I would have a circle with a radius of six meters or a diameter of 12 meters, and if I had a measuring tape, and if I would put that measuring tape on the outside of my circle, all around, then I need a measuring tape of 37.7 meters. There you go. One more example question. Something new there as well. See you there.